Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Alex Mbakwe. We are live and direct at Ojuku Bunker, one of the places, one of the tourist attraction center in Umaya. Remember, we are talking about places you can visit for relaxation, sightseeing, and the Ojuku Bunker is located in the heart of Umaya. It's a place where you can actually relax, come around. It has a lot of sightseeing. So come with me. Let right. me take you around. We have some spaces where you can actually relax, sit down, and probably do some kind of games. Okay, so like I said, you see the environment. Mm -hmm. You can see people. Talk about relaxation, talk about sightseeing, talk about adventure. Imagine sitting here with probably my girlfriend yeah. or even my family. Yeah. Wow. This is late Dr. Michael Opara, late Colonel Odumegu Ojuku Dimpa, <laughs> as fondly called by the Igbos. Mm. So it's not against it. We are live and direct at uh, Ojuku Bunker. Mm. So come with me. Okay. My name is Vincent Topa. This is uh, the National War Museum Complex or Annex Station. Okay. Popularly known as the Chukus Bunker. I have a small gallery here. Okay. And behind this house, behind this house, there's a bunker. Okay. That protected the Lafayette and the Municipal Wall. Okay. And this particular building was donated by Dr. Michael Opara. Okay. During the Nigerian Civil War. Okay. In 1968. Here we have exhibitions of. Uh, the Biafran war leaders of the Nigerian civil war leader. Here we have war victims and captives. The Biafran soldier was captured by Nigerian soldier over here. Nigerian soldier was captured by the Biafran soldiers during the civil war. These are Biafran civilians, non soldiers. They were also arrested by Nigerian soldiers and they were tortured. The Biafran young boys were also conscripted into the Biafran army. This is the famous history or story about uh, the Abagana. Civil War Abagana that led to the death of 6,600 Nigerian soldiers. All these things are really telling us that war is not good, the war is not good, the war is bad, the war does not have anything to offer. And you know, the museum was established to educate the public on the dangers of war. Started to make peace. Okay. Would you left Biafra on the 10th of January 1970, and the peace talk started on the 12th of January. This was their first meeting in Newi. Mr. Obasanjo was, was invited for the for, uh, the meeting. This is uh, the National General of Education, who was the twice to Jukun. This is Sam Wilson Mane for the Chief Justice of Biafra Republic. And this is uh, Mr. U.N. Arthur, the Secretary General of the Government of Biafra. Okay. They had this meeting in New in New which was from his father's house. And the next day they moved to Lagos to have another meeting with General Yakub Gold. After this meeting, they decided to keep the meeting to the following day. This was their last meeting held on the 15th of January 1970. Wow. And that was the very day the war ended. Yeah, it's General Yakub Bowen, okay. Lieutenant General Philippe Fion, okay. Sabusi Banifu, okay. Yes, and the Secretary to the Government of Biafra. Alright. The war ended on the 15th of January and there was reason for everybody to celebrate the end of the Civil War. Because it wasn't easy. It was great jubilation. You can also see here that a Nigerian soldier is embracing a Biafran soldier as a mark of joy. Nigerian soldiers were jubilating at the only ice cream. The only ice cream was the Biafran airport. These are Nigerian young men or guys which were celebrating, mocking Biafra. And the war ended after two and a half years. Two and a half years. Biafran boys. So these are Biafran children who were also celebrating the end of the civil war. Mm. Umahia is a peculiar museum that collects relics and uh, weapons of war and uh, preserves them to educate the public 
and also to help researchers to come and carry so, out sir, and aside the, uh, the National War Museum, which is in Kumbaya, is there any other museum around Kumbaya? Uh, we have one at our, we have two in other states. Okay. The uh, Colonial Master uh, History uh, Colonial History Museum okay. is at Aba. Aba okay. Yes. We have it in Aba. Okay. We have the National War Museum in Momoya. We have the Unity Museum in Owere. We have a museum in Enugu, another okay. Unity Museum. Okay. And we have a museum in Kalaba. Wow. We have one in uh, Oron. Wow. Hey. Wow. All over. Kaduna. I, I wish I could show you close by us and then yes. go to other spaces. Right. But don't worry. Right. Right. Said, uh, this is um, the underground tunnel. underground tunnel. So how far or how deep is it? The, 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 the brief history about the bunker okay. is stated here. Okay. It was built within 90 days. Okay. The wow. depth is 26.9 feet deep. Yeah, with, are, it was built within 90, within 90 days. days. And then the depth is 26.9 feet. 26.9 feet. Wow. That is, that is about these uh, are the names of the feet. engineers. Okay. So the supervisor was engineer Lawrence O'Kani, was a superintendent, and the leader of the team of engineers was Mr. Jewel Okechuku Onyemelukwe. You said this, uh, the, the bunker, bunker was built in the space of 90 days. The space of 90 now, days. Uh, uh, during those times, was there war going on or the the war has stopped before they uh, started building it so how did they build it mm -hmm. the war started on the 6th of july 1967 okay and the bunker was built between april to june of 1968 which means it was built during the civil war the war was going on okay. while yes. they were building yes. quickly Remember that time, this area was still bush. There was no trace or no nothing to suspect that something wrong, yes. something is going like this is going on. The exit or the escape route of the bunker, those towers, there are two main towers. Okay. The one in the middle okay. and the one by the left. Okay. And there are shafts. Okay. okay, so you've heard from the horses. Yes. 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 It's not just a naysay that we have tourist attraction and sightings in Omaha. Mm -hmm. So come with me. Let's uh, let's take you around. Mm -hmm. So so now so, so you mean um, right here now we are under the ground. Well this is the passageway to the bunker. You understand? Okay. But still on the inside the ground. Yeah. You are feeling the this kind of air. <laughs> wow. This is the bunker property. This bunker has remained like this, has been like this from the day one. Okay. When we open it and see what it is like. This is the plan of the bunker. Okay. The plan was drawn by Mr. Frank and by Nathan on the 3rd of April 1968. Now this is the original name of this bunker. Sub office for government of Biafra. Okay. Yes. Sub office or subterranean office. Simply means a small office okay. for government of Biafra. So everything you see here remains the original material used. Wow. Like the wow. This is interesting. So we have this denied the ground. <laughs> okay. I presume this is the kitchen. <laughs> this is the kitchen. Wow. Wow, that's interesting. So sir, how many rooms do we have here? We a bunker proper is two bedrooms. To the ground house. So we have the toilet and bathroom, the kitchen, the store. Okay. Yeah, the main building has two rooms and a sitting room. Two rooms and a sitting room. Okay. The conference room. Wow. So this is where they usually store their foods and drinks. Wow. The water and everything. Even in those days. Um, they used to have, uh, they were these reverend sisters. Mm -hmm. We are very honest and loyal to that. Having them, mm -hmm. each time we take the entire year for meetings. Okay. Remember, the, the bunker was simply built to protect them during their secret meetings. Mm 
mm -hmm. to protect their important visitors as well. Okay. And place of relaxation. This is one of the escape routes. Okay. This escape route is a 23 ladder step. 23 ladder step. Wow. Okay. To get out of the so I can. When we finish going around, okay. you can climb back. Let's look at this passage. Because of the war, this passage was constructed and was preserved uh, to serve as a war, as a, as a, as a prison. They were released. Okay. And the Nigerian government also released their French soldiers. So, what is this? Conference room. Conference room. Yeah. The conference room. 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 The Sakanibiam is from uh, here from the uh, United States. This is uh, Dr. Sipene Kwesi, the great writer, you know. He was a minister for orientation services in Biafran land. Professor Chino Achebe, who is a popular writer, renowned writer, and a poet, he was the minister for information in Biafran land. Dr. Sisi Moji was a very good relation to General Chukwemeka Odumekuju. He was a medical doctor and he was also in charge of uh, the importations of arms, including arms for Biafra and other important. Uh, this place is for ventilation. Okay. We have as windows for okay. ventilation. But when you do uh, the presidency, and uh, don't you think they could disturb uh, the here? Yes. Conversation, conversation, but probably even that there will be a spy. Uh, somebody said that this that the space we are provided for is okay, yes. and that the AC will burn the place. Oh, wow. so another person said if they have prisoners, prisoners, they will they will, they, they will avoid use of English oh. and speaking. People. All of them were people. Yeah. This area. Okay, you said it's 26 steps. 23 steps. 23 steps. Okay. Yes. But when it rains, does rain not come in from the air? Vent? Initially, rain did not come in, but because of the old age or let's say the weakness of the 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 facilities. Yes, facilities. At, at times, uh, what are you to drink from okay. this point? Okay, okay. And because the peak of the rainy season, mm -hmm. when the rainy season became so becomes very serious and mm -hmm. there's enough water in the ground. So if it rains every day, there's a kind of rain that before the thing just we will we, we'll not come in, but there is a the type that, that, that when it forms. The, the, the ground will be wet and yes. there will have some things like uh, you, know, you see from yeah, the yes. other stem. Yes. Mm. Rain will start coming now from the water will start bleeding from there. Oh. Then down to this place and things mm. flow to mm. What motivated them to build this bunker was that they were actually zealous in getting their independence. Sure, they're going to win, and they don't, they don't want to lose any of their leaders. Mm -hmm. Remember, they said that necessity is the mother of invention. Mm -hmm. So, because they had no option again to protect their leaders, they decided to build a bunker on the ground to protect them. Yeah. It was not discovered till after the civil war. Okay. It was a young man that came around first in search of firewood. Yes. Discovered it, they went. Brought machete, destroyed the key. So they, well, they, they came with touch lights, put it and they said, Sorry, this must be done. This must be the product of uh, what you, the you Afran, the Afran, and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> that was they, they were the people that gave this place, which you could bunk. 
down from here from uh, the long distance walk hey. so just like you said that is one of the outlets another one then here is also another one i know you might have been wondering that how do the people down there how do they break hmm. yes these are the events during the civil war was added to the place okay so how inside here now how many rooms do we have? Okay, the dining. Wow. Ah. So this is the top of the Okay. So the building. Somebody said this was the kind of AC. said it's it's a place beyond sightseeing it's a recreational place you can come do your event gather like i said playing uh, you can see people playing football so you can all gather here we have lots of touristic center lots of sightseeing in umaya here is one of them stay tuned to the channel as I will be taking you on weekly basis on places you can go to in Nigeria, in Africa and the world at large. Come with me. Thank you.